Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mary. Subscribe on, <coughs> oh my God, subscribe down below. Also follow me on Insta, it is also linked down below. Um, and you can see, you can just keep up with me on a day-to-day -day basis, you know? Um, okay, I feel like I need to address this right away because there's clearly an issue. My face is very red right now. It's also kind of like really splotchy and like I woke up and my skin was really rough. It still kind of is. So I might be breaking out in hives. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but we're going to continue filming the video. And if it starts bothering me, then obviously I'll stop and go to the hospital. But I think for now I should be good. Um, I just look a little bit tomato-esque. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, so today... I'm finally doing my 2019 favorites. This took a long time for me to get to do, honestly. But I was in Australia at the beginning of 2020 and I was like, oh, maybe I'll do it by the beach. And I was like, no. And then I just like really couldn't decide what I wanted to include in this. And so finally I was just like, okay, fuck it. I am sitting down grabbing all of my favorite items in like bulk. So I'm gonna do like different sections. So right now I'm gonna talk beauty and self care. I'm gonna do all of my favorite items in that. And then I'm gonna go on to my home, uh, home and literally just grab all of my favorite stuff. I have all my favorite stuff sitting out. So that's how I'm gonna do it. So anyways, let's just hop right on into it because we've got a lot of items to go through. All right, so beauty, self care. First item, you can probably guess, the Labo Suntol. It's an amazing scent. It's just a beautiful perfume and it is pricey, but it's just a great, great perfume. I really think that it's awesome. And you really, what I like about it is you only need like one pump of it for it to work. So I really like this one. I would recommend it to anyone. I think it's super sophisticated, but also like low key kind of sexy. It's just a really great fragrance. So La Labo Suntol 33. Next is my favorite under eye cream. It's the Sunday Riley Auto Correct. It has caffeine in it. I think it works like a charm and makes my under eyes just feel extremely radiant and new and just amazing. I really, really like it as an under eye cream. I'm a total under eye cream fiend. I'm not really sure why, but I just like really, really fuck with it. Um, and that one, it just like, it hits different, you know? Next is the... Mountain Ocean Skin Trip. It's just the Skin Trip brand. You can get it at Whole Foods. You can get it at basically any like natural local grocery store will sell this stuff. It's like $7. It's the best lotion ever. It smells insane. And it also is just like light enough that it doesn't feel like you're wearing a coat and not sticky at all. Like I used to hate wearing lotion until I started wearing that stuff. So again, coconut skin trip, so good. Like so lush and soft and I just love putting it on my body and it's so moisturizing. And I just feel like a moisturized hoe without feeling sticky and like a donut. Like sometimes it makes me feel like, you know what I mean? Like it's like the, it's like you're putting frosting on. Like, ugh, I hate lotions like that. So anyways, love that stuff. The Gopari deodorant is a move. I low-key was like, I tried out every natural deodorant and none of them worked. I would be like that one person getting fucking B.O. Oh, speaking of B.O., some guy had horrible B.O. next to me in yoga. But um, I would be that one girl who like had like slight B.O. in yoga and I'd be like, what the fuck is going on? Like this is disgusting. And so then I think I heard about this stuff. I think I actually listened to a podcast where the Kopari founder was interviewed and she talked specifically about the deodorant. I was like, I'll give it a try and I will never go back. It smells so divine. Honestly, all Kopari products are amazing. I also use their like cleansing oil for the body. I love that one. And then I also use their coconut crush scrub. I've talked about that before and it's just a great exfoliant, especially before you put on a tan. So Kopari in general, but specifically the deodorant. Um, favorite toothpaste this year. Again, I have tried so many fluoride free toothpastes and I feel like they all work horribly and I'm not the type of person who wants to have I mean, who wants to have yellow teeth, you know? But who also wants to ingest fluoride on the rag? Not me. So I tried out all the natural ones. This one is the best. It's Jason's 
and it's vanilla peppermint flavored so it makes your breath smell super good and it tastes really good and i actually think it works super well so just the jason's power smile whitening paste in vanilla peppermint it's really awesome and i paired that with a charcoal toothpaste um i'm not crazy about it so i'm not gonna tell you which one i'm using yet until i find one that i'm obsessed with and i do a charcoal one like maybe once a week eh, no more than that maybe like three times a week and it's really really awesome i'm gonna keep doing that that's gonna be my new thumbs up i think anyways tongue scrape this one's medical grade i keep it in this little thing i sanitize it on the reg because they get gross so i honestly would just put my indenture cleaner that's how i clean my retainers too and it works like a charm um and i do that like once a week but i use my tongue scrape every day twice a day and i kid you not it's life-changing i got one for blake too he uses it all the time we will never be the couple who has bad breath because that's fucking gross and it's always the people you don't suspect that have bad breath you don't want to be that person so get a tongue scraper um and get a medical grade one because they don't get as unsanitary i used to have a rubber one and it's fucking gross don't do that um this one on amazon two for five dollars like so easy just look up like medical grade tongue scrape and you'll find it and literally i didn't tongue scrape while we were in naperville this weekend because i forgot my tongue scrape i came back today and tongue scraped and i felt like a new person i kid you not like it is life changing you just feel a weight lifted off of your tongue <laughs> anyways moving on it's good stuff um my I talked about this before but my slip silk sleep mask comes with me everywhere i have a black one for when i'm traveling and then i have this one for when i'm at home and i love i used to not sleep with a pillow now i do because i love my silk pillowcase that much my hair literally i it has changed it used to be so broken and so gross and now my mom always says and my hairdresser she's like your hair is so like silky and smooth i'm like i swear it's the silk it's a silk sleep mask and pillowcase like it's amazing maybe not the sleep mask but the sleep mask just it keeps me in the zone you know what i mean it's like blackout curtains all the time it's amazing and it just makes you feel like a princess occur as a brand is amazing it's all natural products it's affordable it's seriously the best stuff ever i use their day cream their brightening day cream i use their night cream i've used their under eye i love these under eye hydro gels they are like the peter thomas roth gold ones but all natural i think they're cheaper and they just are really really amazing so they're just their radically rejuvenating under eye hydro gels and they're cucumber and silk tree and i just feel like they really lift and depuff and i really love them next is i know people are going to be like weirded out that i'm talking about this but honestly like get over it um sorry that was really aggressive um but i honestly feel like there's such a stigma about around like talking about sex and i feel like that's stupid um because especially in your if you're in college like everyone does it doesn't mean you should be doing it while you're 12 but like i mean honestly whatever i am in a long-term relationship so i think i can talk about sex on here um but woo more play i didn't know where to include this but woo more play coconut oil lube is phenomenal it smells good it tastes good it works like a charm it is great and it's all natural too it's literally the ingredients are like coconut oil beeswax water jojoba oil sunflower wax that's like it it's and it's all certified organic it's amazing um so i 10 out of 10 recommend this to anyone it's called woo more play i found out about it on the skinny confidential podcast because they always talk about it and it's just as good as they say it is um i really love it so it's amazing next is again the, i'm gonna go through these quickly because these are some things that i've already talked about but the ula henriksen cold pour or cold punch plunge pour mask this is literally the only mask i do because other masks make me break out besides under eye masks but like other face masks will make me break out and it 
tingles. It feels so good on your skin, but it's also like moisturizing in a way. Um, and after you're done, it lathers and it just makes my skin feel so hydrated and have just like an undertone glow to it that really shines through. Um, I really love this face mask and who doesn't want to put on a candle on a face mask and do their thing and Ula Hendrickson seriously this is an amazing invention so cold plunge pore mask then the Willetta skin food ultra rich hand cream especially in the winter so important to hydrate the hands because no one wants to like that's I don't know I think like having hydrated hands not having dry hands and like having a manicure just makes me feel so put together and i think it's so easy especially like in iowa in the winter to like walk outside without gloves and then all of a sudden your hands are all nasty um so i think this stuff is so beneficial i literally keep one in my backpack and just put it on and it's so rich so lush and it hydrates so well and it is to be completely honest it is a little thicker um and slightly sticky but not in a bad way just in a way where you know it's doing the job you know what i mean and it doesn't leave things oily and it's just really good so those are all the self-care products or like beauty slash self-care products that i have so let's move on to home okay so home items i'm not going to show all of these because some are too big to show but i'll just go through them and you'll know what i'm talking about and stuff so yeah i'm not sure if i'm going to link this stuff down below yet or not um but i think i probably will it just might not be right when this video kind of goes up but the first one is the lolabo candle dupe so it's the mason louis marie in number four boys stay balancourt and it smells just like the Lolabo Suntol 33 candle. It's amazing. Again, Mason Louis Marie. M-A-I-S-O-N-L-O-U-I-S -I Marie. And number four. It's awesome. I literally only burn this candle basically in my house now. And it smells so good. Make sure you have a wick cutter, a wick trimmer, or just use scissors. Trim your wick. When you first burn it, get a nice full round whatever burn on it and it's such a good candle seriously oh, i love it um next is stasher bags these are really great they're just honestly i put everything in them they're easy they make my life easier they make me use i literally don't have plastic bags at all anymore i used to use sandwich bags sometimes and these have changed the game for me i can put snacks in them i can put like meal prepped food in them they're just really great um i just love stasher bags then these bamboo lids for ball jars literally just look them up on amazon look up bamboo lid for ball jar they're right there they're so cheap they're amazing and then you can just like use your ball jar as a to-go cup and it makes again reusing so much easier and i really recommend then my h-a-d-i-n-e-e-o-n -E -E frother it's just the white frother you can literally look up white frother on amazon and it comes up oat milk cinnamon vanilla in this and then put it in your tea or in your coffee it's so so good and oatly oat milk froths so well in that frother it's insane next is my aracacia essential oil diffuser I think it's so pretty and honestly kind of chic looking and very just like relaxing looking i don't know um and it also works really well and lights up in a really pretty color you would have seen it in my vlogs but i love this essential oil diffuser i have two of them one in my bedroom and one in my living room that and then specifically with this is just one essential oil as an example but this is a sandalwood and this brand is Simpler's Botanicals, um, and it's just organic Australian sandalwood. And then my other essential oils are all Aracacia, the same brand as the diffuser. And I love the combo of vanilla and lemon. 
I talked about that forever ago on this channel and I still use it. I love the combo of sandalwood and vanilla. I love sandalwood and Lang Lang, Y-L-A-N-G, Y-L-A-N-G. It's a great, great combo, super relaxing. I love, honestly, I have my essential oils, some of them right here. I love geranium. That's just a scent that I grew up with, so I think it's so calming and relaxing. I feel like geranium is either you love it or hate it, so definitely like smell it before you buy it. Uh, and then, of course, grapefruit is just like a go-to. So, love my essential oil diffuser. I also like it because you can run it while you're not home, unlike candles, and you can come back and your place smells good. So, like if you cook some food and you're like, ew, you know, and you just wanna come back and your place smells better, run your essential oil diffuser, maybe like, I don't know, open your window, I don't know. But I really love it, it's a major, major move. Finally, I didn't really know where to include this either, but it's the book called Many Lives, Many Masters by Brian Weiss. It's about past life regression therapy. If you have any interest in past lives whatsoever or reincarnation, the idea of that past life regression, or if you're just looking to be more spiritual, give this book a read. Really interesting, really well written. Brian Weiss is not super woo woo, but has a woo woo career. He is a psychiatrist. Um, he graduated from Columbia and then went to Yale for medical school. And now he does past life regression therapy and it's a pretty, it that novel changed my life. I really, really loved it. Um, and then this, this was the last thing actually. And it's just roller balls and like a roller. I don't actually have one here, but I use my one at my mom's all the time. Just to roll your body out on and roll your muscles out and I'll roll this on my back. Literally has helped me so much. I tore both of my hamstrings at the beginning of 2019 and it has helped me so much healing them. Um, and just really like flushing out any sort of pain that I feel I also will use this roller ball on the bottom of my feet. I know that sounds gross, but especially if you're a student, you walk a lot and that's really hard on your feet. So you roll that, like you literally just like step on it and roll and it'll really um, help to loosen up those muscles and hopefully alleviate some pain. So if you have any sort of muscle pain whatsoever, I'd really get a roller and then a roller ball. It's really beneficial. All right, that's it for home. Let's move on. Oh wait, duh, sorry, my blue light glasses. I didn't know where to include these either, but these are from Amazon. They're the brand L-I-B-H-O, and they work like a charm. And they, what I really like about them is they come with a blue light. So like, you can literally shine the blue light on them and see that it doesn't go through. So you know you're not getting duped, you know what I mean? Um, and I get significantly less headaches. I sleep better if I'm on my computer or phone late at night. I think they're so cute. I've always wanted glasses, so it's perfect. And they're really affordable. I think it's two for 15. So really check out Amazon's blue light glasses. Make sure you get the ones with good reviews. These ones are really good, L-I-V-H-O. So now that's it for home. I have a few food items that I'm gonna go into next. Okay, when I was grabbing them, I realized that it's mostly like drink items. So I guess this is kind of drink plus a little bit of food, but it's just things that are in the kitchen that I've been like loving that I didn't really use before. You know what I mean? So the first one is the La Colombe cold brew in the medium dark roast. It's literally just an unsweetened bottle of cold brew. You can, I think it for me is, it says 5.25 servings per container. For me, it's probably like four and a half or five. Um, but you can literally buy it at Target. It's amazing. It's like $5 for a whole container, which is like a dollar per coffee. It's fire. And I love La Colombe in general. If you live in a city, go get their coffee as soon as possible because it's so good. Next is the Gerald Steiner. Mineral water, it's sparkling water, and I just really like it because, first of all, it has a bunch of minerals in it, and second of all, I don't really drink much alk, alcohol. 
so i find that like when other people are drinking this this with a little bit of lemon and lime is like the perfect little cocktail and if you do drink add a little bit of vodka in there my favorite vodka is tito's because it's gluten-free next is the barista blend oatly this shit is good in the frother that i mentioned in honestly everything also oatly ice cream is really good i haven't been eating it for that long so i don't know if i could include it on a 2019 faves but it's definitely a fave um also that door is open and it's going to bug me so much while i'm editing but i'm just gonna leave it because you know what life trader joe's tahini crack enough said buy it it's like three dollars it's the best tahini ever you can make a tahini dressing if you okay if you like mustard do a mustard tahini dressing with just like mustard tahini a little bit of nutritional yeast um salt pepper and oatly i know that sounds gross but it's not gross it's actually really really good and the oat milk makes it more creamy rather than if you were just to add water or oil oil will just make it oily and water would just make it really watered down so that's why i go for like a milk like oatly that's not sweet um but it's not savory either really um and i just think it works really well if you don't like mustard then i would honestly just do tahini lemon like i would okay i would do like a, a jar of the tahini a whole lemon um two cloves of garlic and in your food processor and then just slowly add oat milk and like immersion kind of it and it'll be so amazing like so good i love doing that too and then just put it on a little spinach it's a move then the maranatha peanut butter make sure you only get the two ingredient one this stuff is so good it's the best peanut butter in the world i think this one's creamy but i got this one because i was i was getting my wisdom teeth out so i knew i needed creamy but i like the crunchy one too um, and it's literally just dry roasted or dry roasted peanuts and sea salt and it's so fire Like I eat this stuff by the spoonful. I'm not even kidding you guys. It's that good. I'm trying to think if I have any other like random ass food faves That I didn't mention but not really anything of 2019 so Okay, lastly is accessories. Um, I really only have a few accessories that I've been like super keen on. And honestly, I have brands more so that I have really been into um, that I just like want to mention because like everything from them is good. So the first one is Marjorie. I think that's how you say it. Mejuri, me, me, M-E-J-U-R-I, me, -E so Mejuri. Um, Blake got me this ring from them and I honestly think everything that they do is cute. So I would totally take a look on their website. It's also really good quality. I wear this thing every day and it's like literally looks brand new. So I would look at a web, or I would look at their website. I know they do some sort of like sometimes deals, but they've really blown up and their jewelry is amazing. Like I honestly don't like doubt that they will continue to grow so i really really love their stuff um and then another thing that's like kind of accessory not really more fashion but is my all saints leather jacket um i think all saints is a brand though honestly especially with leather like if you're gonna buy a leather jacket buy it from all saints i think their leather is so good i've had my jacket for probably three, four years now, and it looks better than when I got it just because you wear it. It's just a great jacket and their leather is buttery soft and their jackets are like expensive enough that you know that you're getting a really great piece of fashion and a really great piece that you're gonna wear a lot, but they're not like thousands of dollars. They're not like completely break the bank account, you know? So All Saints leather jackets are phenomenal. They're so chic and they make any outfit amazing. Um, next is my gold hoops. These little guys from the brand Machete. I love these. I have the Jennifer Fisher ones and I like them. But some days, you know, I work out a lot during the day. And so they're so big 
that I just like don't want to wear them. You know what I mean? So those have become more like nighttime earrings if I'm going out or something like that or out to dinner or whatever, or if I just like dress up for a day. Um, but I wear my med or my machete ones literally every day. Um, they're awesome. They are also pretty affordable. I think these were $70. Um, and they have a bunch of different gold hoops and I just really think they're a major move. Um, they're also really light so they don't like weigh down your ear and give you like Dumbo ears or anything. So I really recommend taking a look at those gold hoops if you're looking for like a solid everyday pair. They're also thick enough that they're noticeable. Cause sometimes I think that people wear gold hoops and they're like smaller, but they're so thin that they're not noticeable. Um, but these definitely add something to literally every outfit. Um, but they're also like kind of malleable, like you can wear them everywhere. You know what I mean? Um, next is these guys, my slip hair ties. I love these. I got my mom on them too. She loves them. They're just great because they don't crease your hair and they don't break your hair. So I just, I mean, I wear my hair up a lot, especially if I'm studying and stuff. I'll just put my hair up. I'll put my hair up when I'm working out. And I found that I was getting really bad creases in my hair, especially if I were to do like a bun because I was using these shitty hair ties. Um, but the slip ones I think are really worth the investment. You just can't lose them. That's the biggest thing. Um, and they have really helped me to have healthier hair and just honestly helped me out in general. So I really, really love those. The final item in this little 2019 favorites, this has kind of been an express favorites cause I didn't want to like loom too much on things cause I've talked about them before for the most part. Um, but I did want to give you guys a little overview. I'm excited for these 2020 favorites cause I've already found some great stuff in January. So we're ready for it. Um, but the last thing for 2019 is my Louis Vuitton little keychain. I love this thing. When I first got it, I really didn't use it that much. I think I got it like three years ago or something, but now I use it all the fucking time. Because what I do is I just put my apartment key on it, put my AirPods on it, have my student ID, my credit cards, all of that. And all I need when I leave my place is this. And it's so easy and stress-free and it's so much better than carrying around like 12 different things you know carrying around my airpods carrying around my wallet like it's just easy and i love having it all together so that if i have my key to my place i have my credit card you know it's just you never know when you're going to need things and it's so nice to just have it all compact so i think this is totally worth the investment and it's a great great piece but honestly guys 2019 was a great year. I'm so excited to continue into 2020 and to see what this year holds for all of us. Um, I'm so excited to have new experience and find new items in 2020 because who doesn't love that? Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna end this video here. Go study at Dash for a little bit. Um, thank you guys so much for watching um if you haven't already done so seriously hit that subscribe button below we'd love for you to join the fam i need to like come up with like a name i will at some point um but yeah subscribe below follow me on instagram it's linked down below and seriously guys thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions or seriously recommend any products to me that you think i would like because if you think i would like them i would probably like them and i love finding new things to love so yeah just yeah i'll see you guys next time okay bye